Hey YouTube, how's it going? So uh, this is Toro. We're just going to be talking about what's the difference between Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop CS3, and Adobe Illustrator CS3. And just before we get started, just want to say, go say, check out my blog, scarchclothing.blogspot.com. And uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial works out for you. I hope to uh, solve some questions. So in Photoshop, you're working with pixels, and you usually work with pictures. And so as you can see here, the more you zoom in, the more pixelated something gets and this tree is just getting obliterated just way pixelated and with Adobe with Photoshop you're usually dealing with a lot of colors and a lot of cropping and like moving photos together and manipulating photos and so you can always go to adjustments and levels and you have all these different things that you can do to adjust your photo and so if you want to fix up your levels you know you go back and forth change all that stuff and some of these things Illustrator has on its own too but you don't, you're not dealing with pixels. And so if we come in here to Illustrator, I just have just a picture, uh, picture right here. You can kind of think of it, it, it's called vector. And so in Adobe, you're working with pixels, and in Illustrator, you're working with vector. And so as you can see here, the more I zoom in on these really fine lines, in Photoshop, they would just get distorted out of beyond belief. But now you can see here, they're all keeping their, um, their edge, and they still stay, stay like straight lines. And so this is called what is it called? This is called vector. And as you can see this gradient, um, how is this going from dark to light? It's like the more I zoom in, y it, you can't see the pixels changing. It's just like, it's, you can kind of think of it as a, like a mathematical equation. And the computer's just being told like where to go and it's adjusting for how far you zoomed in. So what's cool with Illustrator is you can scale as much as you want. So I could take, um, I could take both these guys right here, take both these things, and then like I could scale them down as much as I want and it'd still be the same exact thing or I could scale it big as much as I want and it'd still be the exact same thing as what I want. And another cool uh, kind of thing is if I select this la layer with all these lines right here and I change this to overlay, now I'll get out of that, you can see here how the line just kind of zoom into this white spot right here and there's no pixels, in, I mean there's pixels involved but it's more of a mathematical equation and you're manipula manipulating vectors rather than manipulating pixels and so the illustrators used for logos and banners and um, just stuff that usually doesn't involve pictures you can work with pictures in here but that's usually how it was used for Photoshop however is used for you know bringing out bringing out a whole bunch of contrast and just like you know strengthening and uh, taking your pictures to a different level and just like bringing out pictures and just making them pop out and stuff and colors and then Illustrator is more for vectors and stuff. And so scaling, so important things about Photoshop, picture, use pictures and usually altering pictures and colors and lighting and effects and all that stuff. And then Illustrator, you're usually gonna work with um, paths and lines and things that doesn't really matter if you scale. So logos and banners and website designs and just uh, stuff like that. So thanks, hope this tutorial worked out. And message me if you have any questions, go check out my blog, scarchclothing.blogspot.com. All right, thanks. Bye.